I was born and raised in Haiti for about nine years. I came to the United States when I was nine years old. And one thing I remember my mother telling me is that as a child, I almost died. Come on, let's go, keep pushing, come on, faster. You got it, come on, let's go. Mom said she woke up one day and she went to the front porch and there was blood all over. And if you're not familiar with Haiti and the voodoo and the witchcraft that goes down there, there are crazy things that you never think would ever happen, but they do. I was, as a kid, young, before I was even five years old, people were trying to, to kill me. I mean, I, have, I don't know why. Maybe it's because the devil, from the moment I was born, the devil knew what was coming. And he was trying to take me away from the world. You see, I almost died as a child. I went through surgeries for different things. And one thing I learned is that you shall overcome. You see, when I almost died as a kid, I didn't choose that to happen. I didn't even know what was going on. In fact, I didn't even remember what was going on or what happened. I had to be recalled of that. Can you imagine waking up as a mother and seeing your son's blood on the floor? A young kid, a young handsome kid like me. That's devastating. And that's why now I have an opportunity I'm not supposed to be here. I was supposed to die, but I'm here. I'm here in front of you. I'm here trying to look and achieve my goals and my dreams and my aspirations because this is what I want. This is what God has placed me here for. You see, God didn't give me all this talent and all these gifts and all this vision, all this ambition and all these skills for me to put it to waste. And some of us, all we do is put our talents put our skill sets and put our ability to waste. You didn't hear that, you didn't hear that. You have to have the mind open for things to open, for things to enter. A closed mind deters any new knowledge. A closed mind deters any new blessings. A closed mind deters anything that's gonna help it grow because it's closed. It's closed to all ideas. It's closed. How are you gonna be successful with a closed mind? That's why you have to open it up. You have to see things that you thought you couldn't see because all you need is a positive mindset. A positive mindset will get you what you want in life. But you gotta open up your mind. Once you open up your mind, I promise you things will get easier. And people are like, well, yeah, I may have the tools, I may have the resources, but I don't have the skills. <laughs> There's no such thing as not having the skills. You have all the skills and abilities that you need. You just haven't grown up yet. You just haven't grown to it yet. Or you haven't earned those skills. You haven't earned your skills. You have all the skills you need. You have all the skills you need, but you haven't earned it. You ain't never earned it yet. You did not earn your skills because you didn't put in the work yet. Your character doesn't doesn't deserve those skills and abilities that you already have. It doesn't deserve it. You're not the person you're supposed to be. How do I know that? Because I went through it. Because I wasn't the person I was supposed to be when I first started this. Let me be honest with you. I wasn't. When I first started my business, I wasn't all about fitness lifestyle. I wasn't. The first month I started my business, I wanted to make some money. I was dead broke. And I figured I've been an athlete all my life. So I love fitness. Why not be a personal trainer? But I, I didn't really just go there. Fitness is my lifestyle. Like I wasn't eating, you know, like super healthy or anything. 
Of course, I loved working out. I was working out a whole lot in the gym, trying to get a little bit bigger because I was a skinny kid as a child. I wanted to get bigger. You know how it feels to be really skinny all your whole life and people think they could muscle you around? So what you do is you get these abs. You get muscles. That's what happened. But it wasn't all about fitness to begin with. It was just what is one way I could get out my broke situation? And that's how I started. That's how I started. When I started like that, I didn't deserve what I have now. I didn't deserve the skills and abilities I already had because I didn't put in the work yet. I didn't have the proper mindset. I didn't have the proper work ethic. And I didn't have the proper belief, the proper set of beliefs. Two years ago, would I have been able to speak to you like this very eloquently and speaking from the heart? I don't think so. But with pain, struggle, experience, I promise you, you'll see how much abilities that you really have, how many skills that you haven't uncovered yet, or how many skills you haven't been deserved, that, that you didn't deserve yet. How many skills do you not have because you simply don't deserve it? You don't deserve your own skills. You don't deserve your own skills because you don't put in the proper work for it. All you do is talk and talk about what you want to do. I want it, I want it, but I don't know how to. I don't have the resources. But did you take the time to look? You didn't even look. You talk about you don't have the resources. It's like your mother sends you in a room to just go, hey, hey, Ed, I need you to go get uh, the spoon that I had placed on the right-hand corner of the room. It's there on the wall. Just go ahead and look for it. Go pick it up for me because I got to go and, you know, cook some food later, so I need that spoon. But because in your head you're like, man, I don't even know where the spoon is at, man. I don't even know where, where I'm going to find this, man. You all angry. You walking around. You in the kitchen. And you're like, man, where the spoon at? Where the spoon at, man? Where the spoon at? And then, it, the spoon is right there. But because in your head, in your head, you're just like, I don't know where the spoon is at. But the spoon is right in front of you the whole time. It's right there. And all you have to do is just, my mother said it was in the right-hand corner. Boom. Here's the spoon. That's it. That's it. There's a blueprint to everything. It's a blueprint. You just gotta look. You have to look. You have to look in directions you never thought you, you, you should. And you can't just walk into the kitchen and be like, when you walk into the kitchen of life and say, well, I don't know where the spoon is. I don't know where the spoon is. I'm never gonna find the spoon, man. I, I don't know where it's at. I'm never gonna find it. The more you keep saying you're never gonna find it, you're never gonna start that business, you're never gonna start your YouTube channel, you're never gonna start that blog, or you're never gonna you know, try, try to be that rapper, it'll never happen. It'll never happen. You have to have the mind open for things to enter. Hey, every single day, every single opportunity that I have, I'm on the grind. Every single opportunity. 5 a.m. I wake up, I run. 6 a.m. I plan, 7 a.m. session, 8, go, 9, go, 10, go, 11 p.m. still working here behind this camera. There's no stopping when you know what you want. There's no stopping when you know what you want. The reason why you keep stopping, the reason why you keep saying, well, I'm going to keep going, but then you stop, is because you don't know what you want. You have no end goal, so how will you keep going? Huh? How do you keep going towards something that's not there? If it's not there, you're not going to keep going because it's not there. You have no end goal. You have no visions. You have no dreams. Why? Why is it that you just have no dreams? Why is it that you don't have a guidance? You're just walking all day just like a zombie. Well, I'm going to go to work today. I'm going to go to class, you know, try to do my assignments, get stuff done. But, yeah, because I got to do it, not because I really want to. Until you stop doing things because you got to do it, but do them because you want to, you will always be average. But you want to be successful. You haven't earned it. If you want greatness, this is from a guy who hasn't achieved greatness yet. This is a guy in the process telling you this. Because when, I went through the, when I'm going through this process right now, I've uncovered some great things about myself. And one thing I've, I've uncovered about my th myself is that I can go through everything. I could go through anything. I could almost die as a kid. I could fail accounting three times. I could do whatever it is, but I'll get back up. I can keep going. 
Nothing is gonna break me. Nothing is gonna break me because I know what I want. And once you know what you want, nothing will break you. Once you know what you want, nothing is gonna break you. But you gotta know what you want. You gotta know it. Find deep within. Find it deep within. Remember, you have unlimited power within you, but only you can unleash that. And until you do that, the world will never experience your talents, your gifts, and all of the great things you have to offer. Thank you for tuning in. My name is Edward Gills. Please don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel so you can find some more of these amazing footages.